forget to bring this trumpet box back. All right. Oh, I forgot your book bag. Oh, Hang oh, on. Oh, 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 Shall oh, I get oh. sweets for Daddy's birthday? Sweets? Oh, that's a tough one. You don't think he might prefer a nice sports car, do you? No. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> you been for your power walk? All the way to the shop and back. <laughs> ah, so that's your secret to keeping in great shape. Ah, I should do more. You're telling me you don't work out? Uh, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming you've baked a nice large cake for Ashley's birthday. Oh, he'll be lucky if he gets a nice bun. Uh, I'm sure he'll love it, whatever you do. Yeah. Well, if you need a hand, you know where I am. Oh, no need. That's why I'm here. <laughs> and I don't need any help, thank you. My sweet out. Right. Okay. Come on, you. Let's cross this road. Oh, I tell you what. I'll race you to the shop. Ready, steady. Ooh, look at that caterpillar. Go! <laughs> hey! Oh, Mr and Mrs Wicker, you're not leaving us already, are you? The only we've had our breakfast in the cafe. In the cafe? But y your breakfast is included in the price. We know, and we fully intend to be reimbursed. Well, I'm sure Val will rustle you up whatever you fancy. Tricky, since she isn't even here. Care for you next time. Might get yourself run over. Oh, anyone well, could give him a license to drive. Tell me about it, mate. I've got a five on it, says that they won't. Well, you finished that one in double quick time. Yeah, I was starving. Can I have some more? You got worms or something? Uh, maybe it's my hormones. We learnt about them in science. I've never known you to finish a whole one, let alone two. Uh. I'm not sure all the children have quite got the hang of the shoebox appeal. This one's got one, three garden snails and, uh, oh, a uh, get-out-of-jail-free card inside. Well, it might come in useful wherever you send it. Ashley, if uh, the school call about Gabby's PE shorts, I'm going to drop them in at lunchtime along with the school trip money, but I've got to leave work early. I've got a few things to do in town first. Oh, 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 I don't suppose you've got any spare time later to help me with some of the parish correspondence. I'm getting snowed under with this shoebox appeal stuff. Oh, yeah, fine way of cloning me and then I can do the other million things on my list. I can help you if you want. I always used to do Vincent's paperwork and to be honest I found it very therapeutic. There you are, consider yourself cloned. Uh, no, uh, Sally's doing more than enough. I'll take the afternoon off and clear the backlog. See you as an extra birthday present, Ashley. Are you sure it's okay? <laughs> Mum didn't have a clue. Mm. She's a very good cook. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell yourself if you want. <laughs> no, what if she goes to the police? <laughs> you don't know my family. We're like Robin Hood, my dad says. Except when we steal from the rich, we give it to ourselves. It's too risky. But you'll die of cold out here. You can have Sam's big drink. You want mine. No one must know I am here. Please. Promise me. Right, promise. You will be late for school. <laughs> you sound like my mum. Will you be here when I get back? <laughs> no, I'll be in big hotel. Now go! <laughs> hey! You're not left for school yet? Uh, no. I thought there were a fox in the barn, but it went out. I won't, will you? I am just saying, whether you like it or not, Nathan has acquired some powerful friends since his arrival. Giving him a fat lip is not going to enhance your political prospects. So what do you want me to do? Kowtow to him? Doff me cap to the squire of the village? I tell you what, he's lucky he got off as lightly as he did. Oh, who invented ironing? They had a seriously sick sense of humour. Stand aside. Good. To show you. Since when did you know anything about ironing? <laughs> Military training, dear boy. Military? <laughs> Nearest you got to active service, we're playing Colditz. <laughs> oh, there's a sight to gladden even the stoniest heart. <laughs> Father and son learning to iron together. Pity it's not switched on, like. 
I can't wait to see that bruised look on smug little Nathan's face this morning. I tell you what, Leila could have done with a slap while you were at it. No, I, I just want to forget all about it. Put it behind me. Thanks. Oh, 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 I get it. Sneaking in by the back door so no one will notice that you've stayed out all night. <laughs> oh, hey. I hope he turned out worse than you did. Yeah, I think we pay you for cleaning, not for malicious gossip, OK? Oh, charm, I'm sure. It must have been a pretty good evening if you had to crash at Justin's, huh? Yeah, it was all right. Uh, darling, we need to have a little chat. So, Betty, would you mind doing the living room, please? Mm -hmm. No, well, there's no point unless we can get the flaming... This off? Yeah, well then, just dust, Betty, just dust! Oh, I suppose you're gonna tell me you got that playing beer games? Ouch. Next time, try ducking. You okay? Well? It was just a misunderstanding with the local idiot. Interrogation over? Okay. I'm going upstairs. Morning. Morning, Katie. Right, well, um, well, I can only apologise once again uh, for the little misunderstanding earlier. Uh, if you want to visit us again, um, I could throw in a free breakfast. Thank you. But once was enough. Oh, cheerio. Hope you had a pleasant stay. Remember to tell all your friends. Oh, you can be sure of that. Somebody got out of bed the wrong side this morning. Have you got them to sign the guest book? Well, they signed it all right. Take a look. Hey, there's no need for that. Don't worry, I'll tip exit out. I'd have written exactly the same thing if I'd been forced to have my breakfast down the local cafe. Are you telling me you didn't bother to cook them anything? Me cook them anything? Where were you? It was your turn. No, it wasn't. I'm here early. For tomorrow, maybe. Did you keep the receipt for that weekend due last month? Mm hmm The receipt, darling. I, I want to claim it as research. I think it's in that drawer somewhere, isn't it? What? Oh. You didn't buy Nathan's uh, story this morning about the bruised lip, did you? Why not? You know what these rutting stags can be like. It wasn't so long ago that uh, I was one myself. <clears throat> Uh, I detected a rather frosty atmosphere between you and Nathan this morning. Didn't have anything to do with his lip, did it? Maybe you should ask Nathan. I've tried that, Katie. I'm asking you now. Look, all I know is what Jenny told me this morning, right? And apparently David found out that Nathan had been taking advantage of Layla. Go on. So he punched him. In. Yeah, I just have to put this in the fridge before I get back to work. Oh, I am such an idiot. Why? Uh, well, I was trying to save you time. I had no idea that you'd get something in your lunch break. Have you bought one? Well, not exactly. I had some spare time on my hands and uh, I thought you'd prefer a bait one. I thought Gabby could um, ice his name on the top. I should have called to check with you first. No need for this one, eh? 